Hey guys, so today's video is going to be a huge, huge, huge e.l.f. haul. So I went to the e.l.f. website and I got so many things. I think I have about like 50 things in here, so I'm going to try to do this as quick as possible. I'm trying to make this video less than 15 minutes. So if you want to see all the things that I got on the e.l.f. haul, just keep on watching. Now before we get on to the video, don't forget to click the subscribe button down below. Give this video a big thumbs up and leave a comment down below on how you like this video. So let's get on to the e.l.f. haul. Okay guys, so if I show you this box right here, this is everything that I got from e.l.f. Um, I spent around, I spent around like 100 bucks and I got like 50 things, so that's really good for me. If I spent like 100 bucks, so four would be like two things. So um, I'm just going to start off with eyes, like everything I got out for the eyes. So, so the first thing I got is this Opposites Attract palette. And this is what it looks like inside of the pan. These are such beautiful colors. Like this is definitely up my alley. Like I feel like you get warm tones. I feel like you get a little bit of cool tones. And then you get some pops of colors like the yellow and like the orange and like some purples and stuff. So I really, really love this palette. I cannot wait to play around with it. I know a lot of people on YouTube have already made videos on how great this palette is. And I swatched some of the shades and there's, this palette is super, super pigmented. So I am definitely cannot wait to play around with this palette right here. So the next um, eyeshadow palette that I got is this one right here. This is the Modern metals palette and this is what the inside looks like such a beautiful beautiful palette like i love 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 the blue shade in the palette and i love the um purple shade and also the yellow this palette is gorgeous and i cannot wait to dip into this one as well and this eye palette was so eye-catching to me because i feel like i don't have shades like these in my collection um, of course, I have gold and stuff, but like the blue, the yellow, and the greenish, like emerald shade, I don't have anything. So I definitely can't wait to play around with this one right here. All right, so since we're already on eyeshadows, I got three of the smooth matte eyeshadows. I got two in blushing rose, and then I got one in nude linen. I think they sent me these um, as a gift with purchase because I don't remember putting these in my cart and I wouldn't have put two of the same shades. So I think these were just gifts. I'm probably going to give blushing rose to like my sister or friend. But these eyeshadows, I've never had liquid matte eyeshadows before. I've never tried that on my eyes before. So I'm kind of excited to see how they work. Um, maybe I could use the um, nude linen one as a base. I've I'm pretty sure I could probably use this as an eyelid base because it's super light. Okay, so now I got three eyeliners, three um, gel eyeliners. These are the only types of eyeliners that I can wear. I can't wear like the regular, you know the twist up -y eyeliners? I can't wear those. Like those will make my eyes so red and I will wake up with like pus in my eyes. So I only wear gel eyeliners. So I got one in navy, I got one in brown and coffee, and then I got one in standard black. I'm really excited to see how these work and how long they wear on the eyes. So yeah, I got three of these. Another, another really the cool thing I picked up from my haul is this right here. This is the Stardust Glitter Eyeliner in Seafoam. This shade, you guys, is so beautiful. It's so iridescent and it's just so gorgeous that I, when I saw it on the website, like I, I wanted to get all of them, but I just, I was like, you know what? No, Christelle, just get one. Try it out. See how you like it. But I was so tempted to get all of them. Like they look, so, they all look so tempting and they all look so freaking beautiful. So I got this one in Seafoam and I'm really excited to see exactly how this one wears. It just looks so like iridescent and I fell in love with it. There was another one I really wanted to. But I was just like, let me just try this one first, see how I like it. And then if I um, like it, I'll go back and purchase more of them. But yeah, I'm really excited to try this like in the eye look. Then I also got a pair of lashes from e.l.f. This is the Lux Lash Kit. It says it's winged and polished and it's multi-dimensional lashes for full volume and for length. So I got this right here. This is how, what the lashes look like in the box. And it also comes with a pair of tweezers, which I think is really neat and really nice of e.l.f. to do that for us. Because usually other brands will not, like some brands will give you tweezers, but for e.l.f. being so affordable as they are, like I'm actually... Really surprised they gave me a tweezer. But anyway, so yeah, these lashes, I'm really excited to try them. They look so nice. They look very, they're dramatic, but they're not as, as dramatic. And I'm really excited to give these a try and see how they wear. And I also got, I forgot to tell you guys, I also got a liquid 
eyeliner. It pre this is the Precision Liquid Eyeliner in black. Um, I just got the, it's like felt tip, so I just got it just so I could do like wings and I just wanted to see how nicely it wears. I'm thinking about doing a full face using e.l.f. Cosmetics, so that's why I have all of these products because I am going to be doing a full face video soon on these products and see how good they are. And I just had to get as much as I could so I could film the full face. But yeah, um, I got this eyeliner so I could do like a wing. The last two things I got for my eyes and brows is I got the e.l.f. Ultra Precise Brow Pencil in Deep Brown. And I am really excited to see how good this is because as like I only use the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, Brow Wiz in Ebony or Dark Brown and this is like similar to it. Well, I don't know if it's similar, but this is what it looks like and it looks just like the um, pencil has a spoolie on the bottom and then it has the actual pencil right here and I'm just excited to try this out to see if it's really good because you know like the Anastasia pencil gets expensive it's $21 so you know I'm trying to see if I can find a dupe that I could like dupe it because $21 for an eyebrow pencil is a lot of money that you're buying like every two to three months so I'm trying to see if there's other like eyebrow pencils out there that are just as great but a little bit more affordable. I also got the Plump It Up mascara um in the shade black the other mascara i have from elf the three in one mascara i don't like it at all it clumps up so much and i i just it doesn't work for me so i decided to get this one right here this claims to be volumizing it says it separates each lash delivering thick plumped fanned out lashes so i'm really hoping that this is um this does what it says it does and I'm really hoping it does volumize my lashes and I hope it's not like the other one because the other one I didn't like at all. So the first thing I got for the face is this oil control primer mist. Um, so I saw this on the e.l.f. website because I was looking at the primer section. I was telling myself that I didn't want to get like the primers from e.l.f. because I've tried them before and like the pore minimizing primer I don't really like and so I was looking for like a new primer and when I saw that they had primer mist I was really 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 um, excited for that and it was either this one or the dewy or like I think it was like hydrating or dewy or whatever so I just got the oil control primer mist because I do get oily in my t-zone and I get a little bit oily sometimes on my cheeks so I just thought that this would be the better primer for me and I'm actually really excited to see how a primer mist works because I've had primer mist before like I've had the Smashbox primer water but that, it did something for my skin, but I feel like this is really interesting. And I want to see if this really does control my oils and if this really stops them from showing up through my foundation. So I guess we'll have to wait and see how good this is and if this really works. So the next thing that I got is this foundation. This is the Acne Fighting Foundation. It has salicylic acid in it. It has 0.5 salicylic acid. And as you, and if some of you don't know, salicylic acid is used to treat acne. I use salicylic acid salicylic acid in my um, skincare routine because I do have bumps and benzoyl peroxide in me do not mix at all. So anyways, I got this in the shade Coffee. I have the e.l.f. foundation, the Flawless Finish, I think it's called, something like that. Flawless Finish foundation in the shade um, Cocoa. I feel like it's too light for me now at this point. Like I feel like it's so light on me. So I just don't even wear that one anymore. So I got the shade coffee and I just I'm hoping this is not too dark um can we just talk about can we just take a moment to just say that elf does not have the best skin tone ranges um I know they expanded that that um foundation line the flawless finish foundation line but even with the expansion I just feel like it's not where it needs to be and elf being the company that they are and as big as they are I was kind of disappointed to see that like, for example, in the Acne Fighting Foundation, they only had, like, eight shades or, like, nine shades. And it's just, it's just still, like, shocking to me that e.l.f. isn't expanding their foundation um, ranges as, at all. And, like, it just feels like if you're trying to, you know, kind of gear towards everybody and you want everybody to buy your products, maybe you should expand more. So, um, 
I got the shade coffee because before this I think it was like caramel that was too light and I feel like cocoa from the flawless foundation line is too light for me so I just got coffee and yeah I'm excited to see how this works I also picked up the matte magic mist and set so this setting spray is a mattifying setting spray so when you're done with all your makeup you just spray this um, setting spray on it and it's mattifying I think it's it might go well or bad with the set with the primer I don't know yet we'll see when I test it all out and when I do my full face video but when I saw this I was like you know what I've I really want to get more, a little bit more mattifying products because sometimes I feel like my foundation like separates, my foundation gets a little bit oilier and I think that I need a little bit more matte in my routine. Like I usually tend to prime my face with a um, hydrating primer. I just set my face with the Morphe Preppin set but I don't even know if that's mattifying or if it's just like a standard setting spray but anyway so I just got this mad, matte magic setting spray to see if this really is mattifying and if it really is going to keep my face just nice and smooth all day. Now, another thing that I got for my face is this beautiful bare sheer tint finishing powder. I never usually wear finishing powder but I felt like I needed to purchase a finish, finishing powder because I feel like you know what you should probably I should probably set my face with a finishing powder and not with banana like a setting powder with the shade like banana because usually I set my under eyes with the setting powder like the banana shade and then I never set the rest of my face so I just purchased this so that way I could set the rest of my face and I get this in the shade dark deep again they only have like six of these so also for my face I got the um 16 hour camel concealer when I heard elf was coming out with concealers. I got so Excited you guys. I think this comes in 18 shades. I was really excited about that and 18 shades is better than seven so I really um was happy that e.l.f. decided to make so many concealer shades as opposed to their foundation. So anyways, I got this in the shade, um, I got this in the shade Deep Cinnamon. I was looking through the website and I felt like this looked like it would um, match me the best for highlighting my under eyes and my nose and things like that. So I got this and I'm really excited to see how this concealer wears and if this concealer really really is good because this concealer is very affordable. I think it's like $5. So that is really really great and if it's a great full coverage concealer, I'm going to be so happy and if it does increase, if it lasts long, I'm going to love it. So I can't wait to play with this concealer and see just exactly how it wears. So another thing that I got, um, I got the Correct and Set Eye Powder. This is banana. I used to always get translucent powders but then I felt like translucent setting powders I had like major flashback from those so now I get banana setting powders and I'm never going back to translucent again because honestly banana setting powders just go so great with my skin tone and it really just doesn't even give me any flashback. It just blends in with my skin tone and it adds the, the warmth that I need. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys, I actually got two of the concealers. I also got the concealer in the shade Deep Chestnut. I didn't know which one would have been my highlight shade, so I just got these two. I was thinking um, if this one's too dark, if Deep Cinnamon's too dark, I could just mix in a little bit of Deep Chestnut. And if not, I could just use one as my skin tone and the other one as my highlight shade. So I got two of these because I didn't know which one to get. But I'm so excited to try this concealer. I also got the Wow Brow Volumizing Fiber Gel. So this is a brow gel. And I got this in deep brown because the eye pencil I got was in deep brown as well. So I got this um, eyebrow gel just to see if it really works on like making my eyebrow pencil last longer because I don't know if this happens to you guys but sometimes I'll do my eyebrows like early in the morning like 7 and by like 2 they're like faded if that makes sense like they're not as dark as they used to and I feel like sometimes eyebrow gel makes them last a little bit longer especially if you have like oily if you get oily in the eyebrow area like I do so I got the, this eyebrow gel to see if they will help my eyebrows just last a little bit longer. So another thing that I got is the Primer Infused Blush in Always Spicy. I, on the website, it looks like it was going to be like a peachy-ish 
darker color but in person I feel like it looks kind of brown so I got two highlighters I got the um, jelly highlighter in the shade dew never tried a jelly highlighter before this definitely it looks so weird it looks like it looks like slime but yeah, I got this jelly highlighter right here. I also got the Metallic Flare Highlighter in the shade 24K Gold. Um, They're both pretty gold highlighters, but I didn't know what they were going to look like in person. So I just played it safe and got gold highlighters. But I definitely think I'm going to go back and get more highlighters from e.l.f. Because from the texture of it, it just feels amazing we are almost done i promise you guys so the next two things i got are lip liners i got um the lip liner and blending blush duo and i got a lip liner in the shade dusty rose and dusty rose from what i remember is super light but i love mauve um lip liners because i love to just put up a darker color around it so even if it's light i don't mind it so i got dusty rose and then I also got dark brown because you can never go wrong with a brown lip liner. So I was like, you know what, let me just get a brown lip liner. So I got dark brown and dusty rose. And this is what they look like. It comes with a brush. Like it comes with a like a lip brush like this. And I would never have expected a lip liner to come with a lip brush like that because usually like lip glosses or lipsticks come with lip brushes. But... I guess e.l.f. wanted to try something new. Last thing that I purchased from e.l.f. is this gloss right here. This is the Prismatic Lip Gloss in the shade Rose Quartz. When I saw this lip gloss, you guys, I was like, I have to have it. It is such a beautiful gloss. I don't have anything, anything like this in my collection. I don't have a big collection of makeup, but I don't have anything that looks like this, anything that looks near this. And when I saw this, I just thought I have to do like an iridescent -y look or something because this lip gloss really inspired me to just make like a really nice, um, like an iridescent -y, like galaxy ish look one day. I don't know if I'm gonna ever do it, I don't know if I'm talented enough for it. But anyway, so I saw this gloss and I was like, I have to have it. And I'm really excited to just wear it one day and see how this wears because it is such a beautiful, beautiful gloss and I cannot wait to try this gloss. This is everything that I got. My haul is was huge. This is probably the biggest haul I've ever done on my channel so far. Um, I got a lot of stuff but I'm so excited and I can't wait to try all these things in my full face of elf video that is coming soon. I just have to film it. Um, probably be up next week but again you guys thank you so much for watching my channel please subscribe down below please leave a comment down below if you have in any of these products how do you like these products and do you recommend them to anyone or do you want to make, recommend anything else from elf that i haven't tried out um thank you again for watching i'll be seeing you guys in my next video bye